What's something I could say to like start this off? Maybe you can scoot over and get your get your thigh off of my give me a little personal space, Grayson. Well, this video is not really about personal space, Ethan. Oh shit! See right. what I did there? No, you see what I did there? I set you up for that. No, no you didn't. Yes, I did. I did it on purpose. No, you didn't. Because I'm a fucking genius. All right, guys, we're back. <coughs> wait, I have to sneeze. Can you fucking? Can you wait? Can you get your shit together? I'm trying. <laughs> what was that? Okay. We're back, and this week we're taking it way back. It's so bad. Was that good? Back to the good old days that we don't remember shit about. Were those even days? Do you even count them as days? I don't know. Back to the zero days. Were we even alive yet? Are you considered alive at that point? We have so many questions. Anyway, guys, we're going back to the womb. That's right, mom. Get ready. We're hopping back in. Oh, poor mom. Guys, something about us when we were in the womb, we were fucking huge. Normally, twins are like four and five pounds. I was eight and a half pounds, and Ethan was seven and a half. We were 16 pounds in my mom's tummy for like nine months. He's always been a little thicker than me. We're going wait, back. Wait, no, no, wait. Let me, get the, let, me get, let me get this to be epic. Today's the day after 19 and a half years. We're going back into the womb where it all started. Dude, we were identical, so this means that there was only one of us at first, and then oh, we split into two. That makes me have even more questions. There was there was a Greethan, and then it became Ethan and Grayson. Yes. Who the fuck was Greethan? Was it one of us, or was it a weird combined version of- Oh my god, that's weird as sh- Guys, there was a Greethan, and then it split, like- I just said that. Okay, yeah, but yeah, no, but that's a good I way to think about it. I did just say like that. Um, that would make no sense. We're gonna have answers to all these questions today. Before we go in the womb, we have to figure out what it was really like in the womb, and more specifically, what our situation as Ethan and Grayson was like in the womb. As, as twins. Yeah, we're twins, yeah. Grayson. Yeah, I know. Okay, as twins, obviously, though. We should include that. So we're going to an obstetrician again. And guy get on the fucking. Obstetrician gynecologist, is that what it calls? It's is called? Is it what it's called? Is this what this calls? I don't know if you can talk right now. An obstetrician gynecologist. Wait, is that what it's called? We'll just have him say what he is. We're going to a doctor who specializes in women reproductive health and childbirth. He is licensed to deliver babies and, and look at them inside of women's tummies. So and what? just make sure they're healthy, make sure that, you know, they come out right and takes them out of people and puts them on earth. We're assuming that he's seen a countless number of twins inside of a stomach before, inside of the same womb. And that is what we're going to ask. Him. We are on a quest to go back into the womb and really feel and see what it was like because we don't remember what it was like We want to know how our bond began. Maybe it will bring us closer today Maybe that's why we're so close because we shared a womb together. That's definitely why the doctor's gonna tell us about all of these things And then we are going to enter some sort of womb simulator chamber and have to survive in a womb for a little bit together I wonder if it's gonna be like slimy and hot. I wonder if it's like a like a bag or if it's like a big hamster ball How much room are we gonna have? What position were we in? How are we gonna eat? I definitely stole all of your food. Cause I'm like, that, I'm like that much heavier than me. I think you were my little bitch. I think I was just generous. No, I think you were my little All right. We have a lot of questions for the doctor, as you can tell. All right, let's go. Let's do it. All right, we're at the medical center. We're about to head in and find out what it's like to be a slimy twin in a womb. Something I've always wondered, honestly. All right, let's figure this out. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Hello, doctor. Hello. How are you? Grayson. Grayson. Ethan, nice to meet you. Great to meet you, guys. Welcome. All right, so Dr. Ott, thank you so much for being here and uh, offering to give us some insight on what it's like to be inside of the womb. It's great to be with you. Um, what exactly is the name of your profession? I, I kind of uh, couldn't really pronounce it. I think you mispronounced yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So uh, my specialty is obstetrics and gynecology. So a huge part of what I do is, is taking care of, uh, of moms who are expecting babies and quite often twins like, like you guys. So you see twins in bellies and also on their way out of bellies. Absolutely. We kind of want to know what it's like to be in a belly again, so this is this is perfect. Fantastic. You seem like the guy to talk to. I, I'm the one to talk to. <laughs> Great. And, and, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm, I take it that you know a lot about twins and wombs and stuff. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do you deliver babies? I do. I do. It's a it's a huge part of what we do here. Oh, oh sweet. Awesome. So, how many twins would you say you've delivered? It's not a situation where I, I typically keep a, a check mark list of, of uh, the number of twins. It's been a large number uh, through the years. I've uh, been doing obstetrics since 1996 when I uh, started training. Wow. So we we've, we've been at this for uh, quite a number of years. Okay. So a lot a lot of twins. A lot of twins yes. okay so the the main goal for us is to kind of figure out what it's like to be in a womb together so we can take it back 19 and a half years and relive that experience but realistically awesome so we're here to get some information from you on what has to go into our womb simulator chamber okay, okay. I've always been 
bigger than Ethan, and I was wondering if the reason that he is much scrawnier than I am now is because I stole most of his food in the womb. Like, how does that work? How do twins eat? Because I came out a pound heavier, was I just the superior twin in the womb? The, the majority of the time, the weights are pretty much within a, a range of, you know, 5 to uh, to 20 percent difference. So, because he was a pound heavier, it doesn't mean that he was the dominant one. Not necessarily. So there's nothing, to do, there's nothing to do with the reason why I'm like superior now. <laughs> it's, not, it's not true. It's not true. Does that mean that he ate some more food while he was in there, like more than I did? Maybe I was just generous, honestly. Uh, I think that might be more to the point. I was okay. generous? I think so. So I was the, I was the nicer one from the go. Okay. I wonder what happened. I'll, I'll note that. He won't share anything now. Ethan shares more food and is nicer. So I have a question. I'm the older one. I came out first, about 20 minutes before Grayson. Do you think that I was ready to come out first because perhaps I was tired of spending so much time with him? Uh, could be, could be. Um, you're older, uh, a little bit more mature. Is, uh -huh. I mean, is that the case? No, yeah, it's definitely the case. I wouldn't say maturity has anything to do with it. I mean, he, he is older, but maybe I just figured he needed to grow up on his own a little bit. Is there any like specific reason why twins come out first or was it just like they're in mm -hmm. luck of the draw? It, it really is kind of a, a, a flip of the coin. Mm -hmm. Majority of the time, the, the, the first baby is head down. That was me, yeah. That was I you. slipped right out. Fantastic. Yeah. He was upside down, so he made it a little bit more complicated for my mom. But you know, you know, again, I'm more generous, so I, I made it very easy. That's it. So you, you started the theme very early. Okay, so yeah. Ethan, more mature one in the. Why world. is he taking notes? Growing up, and kind of still to this day, Ethan and I have our our arguments, and we have fought a lot. Do you think we fought in the womb ever? I mean, uh, seeing you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a, uh, a little bit of fighting going on inside. Okay, so we can fight in the womb. Okay. Yeah. When we're creating this chamber we don't really know what's going to be in it exactly so in the womb how much fluid is there the amount of fluid is dependent on how far along in the pregnancy you are obviously very early in the pregnancy is not that much fluid but as you get into like the third trimester the amount of fluid is probably around 800 cc's or about half of a two liter bottle so the fluid gradually increases over the time of the pregnancy okay so fluid gradually increases it's good to know how much room would we have in, in the womb? Yeah, like is it is it the size of like a giant hamster ball or is it more of like a like a, like a inside of a bean bag? It, it depends on how far along in the pregnancy you are because very early on the proportion of baby to fluid is much different from at the end. So at the very early part, you know, the baby is very tiny yeah. and the amount of fluid is pretty great. So there's a lot of room for babies to kind of get some momentum and, and at the end of the pregnancy, I mean, you're you're curled up, you know, knees in the chest. Uh, uh, yeah. So there's just gets, not that much room left. So there gets to be less and less room as the pregnancy goes on. Exactly. Because okay, so more and more fluid, right. less and less room. Exactly. Okay. Mom only has so much room there. Yeah. Really, so. so the fluid in there is kind of like blood-like, kind of red. No, the, the fluid is actually clear. Oh, clear fluid. Clear, clear yeah. fluid. Because you know that amniotic fluid is just baby pee, right? Mm. Oh, it is? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll be, yeah. I wish we did know that's... I don't think we should pee in it. No. And is it slippery or is it kind of just more like water based? I mean, it's urine. So warm. Warm water? For sure. Clear fluid. It's actually pee. It's warm too. Okay. Okay. Taking notes. Can babies see when they're in the womb? Like, could we see each yeah. other back then? It's probably unlikely we're seeing inside the uterus. So you think if we had like dark sunglasses on, it would kind of replicate that a little bit? Uh, sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, for sure. Like really dark sunglasses. Okay. Really dark sunglasses. Right. Okay. And the babies do open their eyes. Yeah. You know, and and you're opening your eyes around 28 weeks. And when we do ultrasound and and we look at the you know at the baby's face and we look at eyes, you can see the baby's lens kind of moving around. So you know, babies are still they're trying to take in all of these sensory inputs and, and develop all those neural pathways in their brain. Ethan and I have like a really close bond and we kind of like, we're inseparable. I feel like we're yeah. the closest two human beings on this planet. I almost mm -hmm. kind of do feel like it. It could be awesome. because we came from the same embryo, correct? And then sure. split in half? Sure. But I want to know, like, when did that bond begin? Do you think it began in the womb? Were we able to communicate inside of the womb? That would be really hard to prove, mm -hmm. right? But we know that as the pregnancies progress for twins and we get further and further along, babies can hold hands. They're used to that physical contact with each other. So we can communicate without like talking, basically. Yes. Even though there is that, what is it, the thing that's the sac that's separating us? The membrane sac. I would say we probably tried to uh, to hang out. For sure. To like hold hands because of 
because of how close we are. Well, maybe he tried that. I kind of like my personal space a little bit. Next question. Could we hear anything in the room? Well, yeah, there's there's a, a lot of evidence to support the babies are able to hear. And certainly, as you get towards the uh, end of the third trimester in the pregnancy, babies demonstrate the ability to, to recognize the parents' voices. Oh, wow. Very real. We are identical. So before there was two of us, there was only one of us. Right. Who, what, what did that person look like? I guess we'll call him Griefen. So it was Griefen kind of just an embryo, or was it one of us that were like, okay, well, I'll split into two. It wasn't like it wasn't like a fetal. No. Okay. No, it would have been a collection of cells that you know st started you know with the sperm and the egg combining and then dividing in two and then four and then sixteen. You know, so you're at that very early stage of just kind of cell division and not not too much that's really discernible as as like. A baby. So okay. Greethan was just Greethan was like a little goop, or like a little yeah. slime yeah. guy. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Sure. Just wanted to know what he was like. So, what position do you think we would be in for the majority of the time in the womb? Do we swim around? Do we like kick each other's faces by accident? That that would not be uncommon. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Now remember. I told you in the earlier part of the pregnancy, there's a, a greater percentage of fluid to baby compared to like the latter part of the pregnancy. So once we get to around probably 32 weeks, babies, you know, especially twins, they, they probably want to stay in the position that they're in. Towards the end of the pregnancy, we have to like kind of stay in the same position. Yeah, maybe not by choice, but just by the because fact that there's just you're okay. running out of room. We're running out of room. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna get a little claustrophobic, and he is a little claustrophobic. So. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna have to fight for my space, I guess. Or you can just cooperate, and I'll give you your space. I'm just um, gonna give you your food. I think we covered pretty much everything, so yeah. this should be a should be a fun adventure. I'm ready for it. I'm gonna like relive my. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Did I even count as a person yet, like in the womb? I guess oh, absolutely. I guess so. Absolutely. But I wasn't even Grayson yet because my parents just said like whoever comes out second is Grayson. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I think what we're, you're trying to say is we are going to relive our lives as roommates. Once roommates, now we're going back to being roommates again. Okay, so I think we kind of have all the information we need to uh, create our womb simulator. I think so. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Really appreciate it. It's a privilege, guys. Thank you. Thank Great you. to be with you. Oh boy. Let's go, uh, let's go back in the womb, Ethan. <sighs> Can't say I'm excited. So we have our womb. Yep, it's the box. We're gonna get in the box together. No, it's not the box. It's what's in the box. That is this big, giant plastic zorby. What, what's it called? Zorb? I think it's called a ball. It's a big plastic ball so, that inflates and can fit up to like four humans inside of it. I, I, think, I think it's only one human. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, you didn't read the box. So this can fit one. Wait, so we're going something that can only fit one human. Yeah, that's what a womb is. We just multiplied by accident. All right. We have all the notes that Dr. Ott gave us, and we are going to hop inside the womb and go through the first, second, and third trimester. Wait, we f***ing, we f***ed up, dude. Why? We forgot to ask him what babies wear inside of the womb. Babies are naked. Are oh, you f***ing idiot. Alright, guys, we're wearing really tight clothes because babies are naked inside the womb, but this is YouTube, we can't be naked on camera. That's a good point, they are naked in there. Shut the f*** up. Okay, can you help me inflate this? How do we get in this? I think the zipper, this giant zipper is. Like, this oh, is what wait. the this is what the womb is gonna look like on the third trimester. We're gonna be in this, dude. We're gonna suffocate. We can't do that. So the first trimester is very spacious because we are goop size. That's a goop right there. It's very spacious because we're very small. And then as we get bigger, the womb doesn't get bigger. We do. We do. It's gonna get smaller, and smaller, and smaller. All right, let's set up this womb. It's happening. It's gonna be quite interesting. Whoa! Stop disrespecting mom. Sorry, Mom. All right. Stop smacking Mom. Okay, sorry. So this is what the womb will look like in trimester one. We'll have the most room because we'll be the smallest goops. And then it's going to be filled with a lot of fluid. A lot of water, and the water is going to be very cold. Well, it would actually be piss, but... Does piss. that mean that if I have to go, I can just let it go in there? No. That's not what that means. I'm not kidding. I, I, I think that's I'm, what Dr. Ott the video, said. The, the video's over if you pee in there with me. But that's what Dr. Uh, Ott said. But it's over. But for scientific reasons, I might have to do No, you're it. not gonna have to do it for scientific reasons. We just gotta go in. Oh, it's hot in there. Stop! Get your fucking hand out of here. Do it by yourself. Okay, I will. We're already arguing. We're not even in the womb together yet. All right, well. All right, you just go. Hey, so much for blowing up the womb. I think we're supposed to start inside of it. This is really sketchy. Are All we right. doing this right? Uh, I think there's no other way to do this, bro. It's so hot. Why are your hands on my hips? Because they have nowhere else to put them. Trimester one hasn't even begun, and I really want to get the fuck out of here. I'm claustrophobic, if you guys didn't know. All right, you gotta scrunch. Grayson, you're too big. You gotta scrunch down a little. Can't. Yeah, you can. All right, he doesn't, he doesn't really fit, so I'm just gonna make him fit. All right, Grayson, how are you doing in there? Uh, bad. Really bad. It's time to fill the womb up with the. It's is it so hot. Is it amniotic fluid? Amniotic fluid, uh, in other words, baby pee. 
Just go in. Baby piss. Let's go. Feels good to just take a nice piss. You could be peeing and mixing it in, and I wouldn't even know. You won't know. I wonder how long this is gonna take. We got two hoses in. I guess we can call these umbilical cords, but in actuality, they would be our they would be our peepees because we'd be peeing. So now you're peeing too. Yeah. This is probably the first twin activity that we did together. Our first piss. What happens when babies have to go number two? I think we did that together too. Time to take the hoses out. It's all the way filled up. Now that we have the baby piss in the womb, it's time to fill it up with some air. All right, we got a camera in here too. The air is going in, getting zipped up. Give me air! Wow, huh. we're really in here. We made it in the womb. Yeah! Trimester <laughs> one, baby! All right, so trimester one. We can't talk in trimester one. Oh, shit. We can't even physically touch each other because we're just goops, so we can't touch each other because my goop is too small to go anywhere near your goop. Are we allowed to swim in our goop's pee? I think we're allowed to. I think that's what you're floating in. Alright, so also, our mom's stomach is blocking us from any sunlight and we can't see anything. So here we go. Ah! It's dark in here! We can't touch each other. Get away from me. I'm making baby pee. Yeah! Oh, yeah. oh. Dr. Ock said we can't talk in trimester one and you can't touch me either. I'm trying to enjoy my peaceful first trimester because it's about to get shit. Ethan, Grayson, this is my relaxation period. You're not allowed to talk to me. Trimester one. I think it'd be enjoy. Stop! You goops can't move like that. I'm having fun as a goopier. And you can't touch me as a goop. I don't like how I can't see. Yeah, what do we do? Like, how do we entertain ourselves? Grayson, you know it's quite possible that we hadn't even met yet at this point? In trimester one, we were goops, couldn't even touch each other. So we hadn't even met yet. This is before we met! Holy shit! I wonder if goop me was aware of goop you, but just didn't know what goop you was. What do we do for nine months? Like, how, how do we not get bored? Um, I think trimester two, we can start, like, interacting with each other. Does mom eat yet? Can um, mom eat? Yeah, I think mom eats all the time, Grayson. I don't think mom can go a day without eating because she's a normal-sized human being. Well, mom, can you eat? Mom, we're getting kind of hungry. I, I'm a goop and I need to grow. Mom! Oh my god, my ears, my fucking walls, the, the sound bounces off the walls in here. Do not scream again, it hurts bad. All right, mom, let's get some food in here, please. Mom! Ah! Ah! Fuck! That hurts! I'm not even kidding, the sound just bounces off the moon walls. Probably why goops shouldn't talk. It's probably why goops can't talk, so you should shut the fuck up. Time for our first meal. I think mom's eating. Oh, what is it? Mom, what are you eating? Mom! Ah! Oh, what is it? It's a pecan. It's a pecan. Can we please take these glasses off? I can't see sh Yeah, just fucking take them off. It's kind of fun. Let's take a water park. It is kind of a water park here. Why is the water- Are we sharing this pecan or am I eating it because yeah. I'm the bigger twin? The water's getting so foggy. I didn't pee. I don't know why that is. You want to eat this pecan? Well, since I'm the more mature, generous twin in the womb, I'll let you eat about 80% of it. And you're a little bit more thick than me, so let's make this realistic. I guess this is what, like, eating with you in the womb would be like. You get most of the food. Yeah. Because I'm the nicer twin. It's a good deal. Now that we ate that pecan, we're growing. All right, what'd you learn from the first trimester? The first trimester wasn't that bad. We had a lot of room in there. The water kept us cool. Or the, the pee. I don't even know if that makes sense. Well, that happens in the womb, but it did in real life. I may pee the slightest bit in there. Did you, did you actually? I just wanted it to be realistic. No. Did you actually? It's sterile. It's sterile. I'm, I'm not kidding. Did you actually f***ing pee? I guess you'll never know, no matter what I tell you, right? I f***ing hate you. Ugh. Pecan. In trimester one, we had our first meal ever, too. We ate a pecan. We weren't able to bond yet or communicate with each other, even though Grayson um, decided to just scream at me anyway. All right, guys, we're going to enter the womb again for the start of trimester two. Let's go. Trimester two time! All right, that's going to get old. All right, so in trimester two, we are now able to communicate physically because babies can't speak verbally inside of the womb. Dr. Ott said that he's not exactly sure if babies can communicate in the womb. Uh, I think we definitely did communicate in the womb. Yeah. This is when our bonding started, Grayson. Our this is probably also where my claustrophobia started. We really don't have a lot of room this trimester, as you can see. Just for twins' sake, I think for trimester two, we should have to hold hands. The whole trimester? I mean, that's, that's when babies start holding hands. That's probably what we did. You're right, Dr. Ott did say that. As you can see, it's getting really steamy in the womb here. We're holding hands. 
And I think mom's gonna eat again, which I'm excited about because I get 90% of that food. I don't really want to eat in these conditions. Grayson's boogers are in this water and I'm soaking wet. I'm holding hands with you. I don't want to eat in this. I'm gonna throw up if I eat right now. I guess the only thing left to do is just eat because trimester two is pretty much just holding hands, eating a little bit more and physically communicating, which we're doing in too much of at that. And don't push me. I'm allowed to. Ah! Don't drown me in the womb, bro. You know what? Jokes on you, I can breathe fluid because I'm a baby. You definitely cannot breathe fluid. Oh, look, mom's eating. Mom made some avocado toast. <laughs> that was all soggy. Ew. No, let me get the first bite and then you get the rest. I want first bite. Just give me a bite. It's not soggy. I already got first bite. Give me a bite. That's it. That's it. It's so soggy. It's not soggy. That's soggy. What do you expect? Mom just ate it. It probably doesn't look like that after mom eats it. Can I get another bite of that? No. I kind of wanted another bite of that. Well, too bad you're a little bitch. I'm the more mature one in here, so I'll wait till I get out to eat. Oh, f you do get out first. <laughs> I get out first. Oh, no. 35 minutes we've been in this womb, guys. I don't know how I did it for nine months. Nine fucking months? How? I have no idea. Can we stop holding hands and try mess with three? Uh, yeah, we can stop and try mess with three, but I think we're going to be holding way more than just hands. Let me out, please. It's, it's, it's a tight squeeze, Grayson. Okay, we just finished trimester two. Thank f but you know what not thank f for? Trimester, trimester three. This is about as much air as we're gonna allow ourselves to have because we have less than this in trimester three, Grayson. This is like right when you're gonna pop out, when things get too not roomy enough, and then you just kind of slide on out. So in this next trimester, we're stuck in one position because the twins grow so big to the point where they just take up the whole entire womb. Um, Dr. Ott also said that we could possibly kick each other in the face, and we're gonna have to eat a lot. Well, Grayson is because he was the thick one. And trimester three begins. I'm all the way over here, I'm, by the way. I'm, I'm stuck on Grayson's thighs. I don't have enough room to move out. We have no room. This is real clutch for My feet are completely trapped. We are filled to almost the brim in baby fluid because there's no room here. And because we are so big, we have pushed the fluid to the edge of mom's stomach walls. Can you just get birthed already? Mom, can you push harder? <laughs> it's getting really foggy. And there's no room at all. As you can see, my head is by somewhere I don't want my head by. My ass. And I'm not really sure what to do. Right, 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 right. Stop kicking me in the back please he said we can actually like, kick faces try to not do that i've been respectful this whole time in the womb grace in all three trimesters i let you eat more than me i give you your space i let you scream just please cooperate for once right, i'm trying this is the, the water is definitely disgusting i have to pee really bad and i'm really tempted to just let it go no don't please, bro i drank don't. so much water today bro i'm getting closer filming and then we have a look we, we, you, have to, you still have to eat more grayson all right can we do that mom can you eat please i'm getting closer a little bit oh, all right mom Please eat! Grayson's hungry! And claustrophobic! This is not- Ow! They just took me in the face! Can you please stop? Grayson, I'm gonna- Grayson, I'm gonna- I'm gonna suffocate. Dude, just sit up. I, mean, I don't like this at all. I don't- I hate this. Guys, we have no room in this thing. Wait, Mom's eating! Mom! Mom's eating! What is it, Mom? It's a bucket- Oh my god! It's a bucket of ramen! No! <laughs> yeah. Have you ever reached your hand into a bucket of ramen? <laughs> All right, Grayson, the rest of the bucket is yours. <laughs> oh. Get your feet out of here. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, stop. Please see the people. We're allowed to keep each other in the no, no, no. <laughs> ah. Ah. There's no room in this thing anymore. I can feel myself getting bigger. Or my food baby, at least. Can babies get food babies? Eat the whole bucket so we can get out, please. I want to get birth. I'm trying. You're spilling food all over the womb. I'm trying. Ew. I think I think mom is pushing. Oh, mom's pushing. It's oh. my time. Hello world. Oh, oh. oh it's scary. <laughs> I'm out. All right, Grayson, you have to stay in there for 20 more minutes. That. I was born 20 minutes before Grayson. Yeah, but that wasn't even my fault. I came out head first. Grayson was about to come out feet first and he wouldn't flip. So they had to do a C-section on him. Yeah. No, you have to wait 20 minutes, yeah. Grayson. He gave my mom a lot of trouble. I'm so freaking out. I actually feel like I'm seeing the world for the first time right now. Birth simulator, 10 out of 10. Ah, I'm claustrophobic. All right, Grayson, yeah. it's time to meet in the real world. Let's do it, please. This is going to be a magic it's moment. Vigilant, just get me out. As you guys can see, I have no room in this thing. He looks he looks really uncomfortable. I have no room! Grayson, come out to the real world! Right, I'm, time, I'm trying. Alright, it's time to meet my twin brother in the real world. You know, I was able to progress a little faster. Okay. Hello! Can you please let me out? Alright, Grayson! Yes! Welcome! I will make my way towards to this the special world. hole that is going to exit me from the womb 
and enter me into real life. Oh my god. There he is! This is not true. There he is! Ah! I've never been so happy Gracie. to be out of a placenta in my entire life. It may be besides one more time in my life. My beloved brother. I ate way too much fucking ramen. <laughs> Ew, you're so wrong. Ah! Holy sh! Guys, I feel free. I don't even know what I just went through, bro. I'm scarred. I would say, if there's any way to get closer to another individual on this planet, it's doing that. If you could share a womb with someone without eating them in there, you guys have a special bond. I think so, too. And I'm appreciative of that bond that we had together. All right, well, that glad was, that's over for the second yeah. time. That was really exhausting for me. Right now, my brain feels kind of foggy because I wasn't breathing actual air. And I wasn't even breathing liquid oxygen. I was just breathing Ethan's breath. You're kind of like a superhuman when you're a little baby because you can breathe underwater, but that's crazy. Why don't we think about that enough? But yeah, we weren't, so that was kind of scary. So what do we do? Trimester one. Trimester one was almost enjoyable. It was like kind of cozy in there. It's kind of like a water park. It was. I liked how um, we didn't have to make physical contact. Yeah, it was nice. We had space. We didn't even have to talk to each other. But it was nice he, too. He started screaming at me anyway. All right, but all in all, it was all right. It was pretty good. Yeah, the pecan was pretty good. Oh yeah, the pecan. The pecan. You just said pecan. I don't know what the f it's called, Grayson. Trimester two was, I feel like that's when we started getting closer. Yeah, that went that went kind of downhill, but we met, we met for the first time in trimester two. I'd say so. Well, that's we, scientifically, yeah, that's what doctor says. So oh. that, was, that was our first time meeting, Grayson. I'm gonna say we probably did hold hands in the womb. It just felt right when we were doing it. I, can't, I don't really, I don't really agree with that. Trimester three, that shit was scary. Yeah, that was not chill. I'm not trying to be snuggled up like that ever again. Even when Ethan left, more air deflated out of the thing, and then I was just like tucked into this little placenta. Yeah, why were you sticking like, it? Losing my mind. I was why, so claustrophobic. Why, why did you hang on for so long back in the day? I don't know. I think I accidentally did that. But that's actually a true story. I came out head first, and then Grayson was feet first, so they had to flip him, and he wasn't flipping. Yeah. So that's why we're 20 minutes apart. Um. So that was like a really realistic simulation of our birth. I think that it brought us together back in the day for sure, but now it makes me appreciate my space from Grace. Yeah, me as well. So but, maybe, but in a way, I, I kind of appreciate it. And it's cool to know that I was once inside of a womb together with my best friend. Like I've been, you know, oh, I've been by his side from the start and he's been by mine. Now it's time to get a little fucking space. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of space. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press the thumbs up. Please, please give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. This was really, thumbs up for womb. It was really, yeah, for womb and for my mom. For our mom, please. So if you don't thumbs up it, it's kind of rude because it's for my mom. Yeah. Also subscribe. Yes, because we want you to. <laughs> yeah, if you want to subscribe, we post videos every Tuesday. So, I mean, we want you to do that. So, if you guys want to see the bloopers of this video, they'll be out on Friday. All you got to do is press join on our channel after subscribing, and you can watch them. Your weekly bloopers as a channel member. This week's video shout out goes to at Needy Grays Kath. Kath, what's up, Kath? Thank, Thank you very you much for having your notifications on. If you guys want to be shouted out at the end of our videos. All you gotta do is subscribe and then press the little bell and you'll be notified when we post and also we can shout you out if you tweet us a screenshot that you did that. I'm gonna go enjoy my space from Grayson now. And I'm gonna go take a nap so I can get some oxygen back into my body without thinking about it. Cause I'm losing my head right now. Yeah, I, we're, we're at a lack of oxygen right now. I actually feel kind of weird. I'm gonna go do something. What's something like, you know, I just got rebirthed. So I'm gonna go chill out and take a nap. I feel like a new person right now. I'm gonna go explore the world. <laughs> All right guys, we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Peace. Peace. Everybody go to last week's video. Pop, pop a tuck, pop a click on those end cards you see right there. On the subscribe button. Check out last week's video or subscribe. And we have some merch link in the bio. We have some of the merch link that's in the bio. It's so good merch. Super out, friend. <laughs>